Hello Virgo, my sexy, sexy Virgos. How are you? Welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. So this week, Virgo, we're going to look into your want and your need. You're going to tell the universe what you want and the universe is going to tell you what you need. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to give you a heads up that the universe has not really come out this week and said you cannot have your want. The universe has not come out and said that. The universe is pretty much coming out and saying, that's good. You know what, you can have that. But, this is what you need. This is what you need to do. This is how you need to start thinking. This is what you need to change. <laughs> so, you know, we're gonna get that. Oh, and I'm being inspired to do this. I'm giving her a shout out. Every video this week, a lovely, lovely lady, Jess Puckett, the Chaos Witch. So um, I encourage everyone to go and check her out if you feel compelled to. I won't force anyone to do anything. Um, she is amazing. Her knowledge of Vedic astrology is absolutely incredible. She delves really deep into like archetypal personalities, just like soul journey paths that she can pull out of Vedic astrology. And for, it's just incredible. Anyways, she's amazing. So she is inspiring this want and need so because she's inspired me, I got to give her credit where credit is due. And because she's the chaos witch, we're all going to get an incantation from my witch's oracle after each reading this week. So there you go, Virgo. Oh, and it's last week. There is an extended after this. So if you feel it's like really like a, like a, a monkey, it's kind of like itchy. Um, if you feel compelled or you're, whatever you want to go to the extended there's an extended after and this is the uh the top of the comments but my back is itchy right now and it's like really itchy like i can't not scratch it oh my gosh okay there we go i got that out of my system <sighs> what's the want what is your want i need i want a back scratch that's what i want Good back scratch. Okay, what is the want for Virgo? The want for Virgo. What is the want? What does Virgo want? What you want, Virgo? Tell me. Speak to me. Tell the universe this is your time. Right now. Speak up. Or or forever hold your peace. What is this? Oh, the page of cups. Everybody's wanting like gentle, soft, innocent new love. <laughs> That's so cute. The Knight of Cups, okay, you're like, yeah, I want that. And then I want it to kind of move on from there. <laughs> oh, and the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> you go with that, girl, guy, you go with that. Yeah, oh, I, I, and I have to give a shout out to all my heterosexual men that are coming, because I really, I was told, but you all told me very nicely. You were so polite, you were gentlemen. Yes, because I apparently I've got more than I used to have. So I like that. I love it. It's bringing balance to the channel, right? You want the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups? And the Queen of Pentacles, darling. Why not? Why not? Like, yeah, you know, I'm really liking the wants y'all got this week. Y'all are wanting good wants. You know what? You want good things. You want good things out of this life. And right now... You do. You kind of want to start slow with something. You want, you know, just innocence, no no baggage. This is young. It's like young love. Like nobody's heart's been broken before. It's kind of like, hi, it's nice to see you. <laughs> like, you know, like that kind of energy. And then, you know, and then it gets a little more romantic. And then there's more gestures that come along with <laughs> this is Queen of Pentacles. Nurturing, okay, because the Queen of Pentacles energy is very nurturing. So this is this is gentle love. It's gentle love. This is like taking it a little bit further. Um, but then the Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. She's a little bit stuck up though, man. This Queen of Pentacles is a little bit high and mighty. So you, <laughs> oh, you know what I see here. This Queen of Pentacles has no other eye. Her eyes are only directed towards. Her, I'm saying her, but it can, it's just someone who's doing great for themselves. Somebody who's doing really, really good for themselves, particularly financially in their community. They're making good money. Things are good. Things are good in that sense. 
Um, and they're very expressive. They're very nurturing. Yeah, I like to say that like the Queen of Pentacles is the one to put her hand out and say, come here, darling, tell me what's troubling you. Let's figure this out. Like that, where the King of Pentacles is, tell me your problems and I'll give you an answer. <laughs> it's kind of different, right? So whether you're male or female, gay, straight, bi, whatever, <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles, you want to be more of this nurturing energy. But look, you want to nurture this. Like I see, because at first I thought she's kind of a little stuck up the way she's sitting there. Standing on the, the well, you know, leaning against the banister there. Just, nah, 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 nah. But no, all of her focus is here. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting, you know, Cindy, I feel pretty good. Okay, this is what you're telling the universe you want. You're telling them, I'm feeling pretty good about my financial position, about how things are going right now. Boy, I would really like to focus on love. Like love. Just love. Just feeling love, finding love, focus on love. And it doesn't mean it's a romantic partner, but it's just the, the feelings, right? Just the feelings. What's at the bottom here? Oh, the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is at the bottom. The underlying, the reason for it. So maybe, maybe some of you are in some of this Five of Pentacles energy. Some of you, I feel like, are in this right now, the Five of Pentacles, feeling kind of like left out, out in the cold, abandoned, something hasn't worked out, uh, feeling tight for pentacles too with the five, but you want, you want to be, you want to be sexy Virgo, <laughs> I mean, because she is, she's sexy, she's refined, she's eloquent, she's sophisticated, She's very warm and kind. It's a the Queen of Pentacles is a nice energy, right? Yeah, it's a nice energy. And you want to have that. And then you want to focus on love. And the kind of love you want here is innocent. Take it slow. Start off slow. And then let's get let's see where that goes. <laughs> let's let let's let it grow and develop naturally because it's the page turning into the night. Hmm? That's what I see you want. Oh, two fours for the split for the need. There's a need for rest. There was a need for disappointment. <laughs> for something being like... Okay, what's the universe going to talk about the need? <clears throat> These needs have been very interesting. Wow, this is the second page. The Four of Cups continues to sit here. I keep splitting it, and we had the Page of Wands, and now we have the Page of Cups. There is a need for things to start anew. Nice and slow, nice and gentle. No pressure. The need, the need for the sex of Virgos. Actually, yeah, that's true. That's kind of nice. I was just thinking of something. I was just thinking that, I said this a while ago, I said one of the signs that I find more difficult for me to deal with, and it's not like female Virgos, it's male Virgos. And I thought, you know, it's probably me, because I'm an Aries Gemini, so I'm like, what? And Virgo can be very analytical. Um, but I have to say, all of the, the male Virgos that spoke up last week, particularly those that were heterosexual, they were not difficult to deal with at all. It was really nice. Oh, the need is the Queen of Cups. So maybe you're not supposed to take it slow. <laughs> wow, the need is the Hierophant. <laughs> well, let's just get right into it then. The need is the Eight of Cups. What the heck? Well, what are they telling us, huh? What's the universe saying here? The magician is on the bottom. The magician was just on the bottom for Leo, I think. Manifest, manifest. Work with what you got. Work with what you got and manifest. I heard myself say, and I'm hearing it now, there was a need. Ah, that's why, why did I say that? When did I say that? 
When I first picked up this deck and split it apart to start shuffling, we had the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. And I said, oh, there's a need for healing and resting. Oh, there at least was a need for some sort of failure or disappointment that didn't, something didn't get noticed or you missed. I'm feeling like there wasn't, we're getting some sort of a story here. There was a need. There was a need. So the Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, this is pretty solid energy. The Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. She's disappointed though. Her head is pointing down. She's not looking up. The Queen of Cups should be fairly confident looking forward in love. She functions in love and emotions and feelings. She's kind of trying to hide them there. But the Hierophant, this is the best Hierophant ever. This guy is so super duper. He's like, to me, a uh, Jesus Christ superstar. <laughs> Like, so cool. <laughs> this is the coolest Arafin. He is not suppressive at all. It is a really nice energy. Um, but overall, like, the Queen of Cups is mutual love and a higher commitment in walking away from it. Walking away from it. With the Eight of Cups. Why? We gotta find out why that was, that's a need or that was a need. I'm getting there was a need. I'm just hearing there was a need. So maybe that's what's going on here. So let's find out. Does this sound like you? Does it resonate? That there was some sort of something here where there was mutual feelings in something and it was a higher connection you had with someone else. Very higher, but there was a need to walk away from it with the Eight of Cups. Let's get right into that. Why was there a need? For the Eight of Cups. You know, I'm funny. I'm getting like someone was ready and somebody wasn't. No, it was like one, someone was ready and someone wasn't. Because the Queen of Cups, I just can't get over how her head is pointing downwards. She's just not looking up. But the Hierophant, he's looking right ahead. He knows exactly what he wants and what he does. He's looking you like right, on, like straight. I'll look in the camera, like right, right in the eyes. He right in the eyes. But it's not. Um, it's not uncomfortable. It's very gentle. It's just direct and knowing. But the Queen of Cups is. Head is down. So there was some sort of need here. And it's interesting that the feminine, the yin energy is in the Queen of Cups. In the yin energy, there was a need for it to walk away. The yang knew. The yang knew what was going on. I feel like getting a black cat and a white cat and calling one yin and one yang. <laughs> That'd be fun. Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Why? See, the Magician, the Magician is out again. The Two of Pentacles and the Magician. Not sure if you're manifesting what you want. Really having to look at that. Figure it out. Have you been manifesting things up to this point? Have they been working out? What hasn't worked out? What do you need to leave behind? That's the whole Eight of Cups journey there. Trying to juggle things too. Someone was trying to juggle stuff and needed to manifest new things. Okay, why the Hierophant here, and I'm just telling you, I've been going this way all week. I have really been clarifying the need right away because I feel like your want, that's great. That's good. We will look into it. But this has kind of been telling you how to get what you want. So I think it's important to clarify that. So the Hierophant, the Hierophant is sitting there very enlightened. He's got light coming from his fingers, from his staff. He's like Jesus Christ superstar here. Very divine energy, spiritually connected this, this, I really feel like this Hierophant knows. I feel like the Yang energy really knows. The Yin, was it? She's not so sure. The Hierophant. Tell us more about this Hierophant and the need. The Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting, interesting. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles over here. <sighs> this this energy coming in is the Hierophant. It wants it wants it wants to, I'm hearing it wants to be nurtured. It wants to be nurtured. It wants to feel stable. It wants to feel comfortable. 
it wants that energy in and around it. it wants to be with that energy very grounded But how to get there, how to figure out how to, how to work on this together. You know, I'm getting because the yin has walked away, has gone to the eight of cups. It's, I'm kind of getting this message. How do I get the yin back into this situation? The masculine energy. This could be you too. Like this can be the masculine side of you wanting to strategize, take action, get what you really want. Like that's yang, that's masculine. How do you get this back? How do you get this feminine energy back? How do you collaborate with it? I want to work with it. I want to share ideas, thoughts, hopes and dreams. It's kind of like... And I'm just kind of flighty. I'm slowly going through a stage. I'm going through a stage. It's kind of like, I'm feeling like very romantic and very mystical and metaphorical. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just something in my chart. Maybe it's this. <laughs> it's that. It's rubbing off on me. But I'm just getting that. Like, Queen of Cups, her head is down. Her head is down. Oh. It's a tower moment. She's not seeing something. Somebody's coming in with a wand on fire. There is a need to wake up the Queen of Cups. So I'm getting here. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love and feelings to share. And she's just like... She kind of pulled it away. This feminine energy is pulled. There was a need though. This is the need. I think because it needed to get woken up. It needed to be awoken properly. So the Tower moment, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Swords. That's like knocking hard on the door. Hello? It's time to wake up. There is a need for that. Whatever's been going on here, like some kind of connection. <laughs> Like you guys, I've been getting so many loveys, lovey-dovey stuff coming through. And I know some people don't like that, but I can't really control what comes in in the reading. But what I think is good, though, I think there's some balance in what we're asking here. What is the want and what is the need? If you want some sort of love, we're getting, the universe is telling us, you know what? You got, this is how you do it, but it's not, you know, like writing love letters to Joe all day and then hoping he replies. You know, it's actually putting some kind of work in here. Kind of thinking about how things have worked in the past and how they haven't. And working on yourself. And it's it's encouraging, too, to do this. You can have what you want. But you got to do this. You really, you got to do this for yourself. There's a lot of what's been coming through. And that is really how you will end up getting something that is for you. Because then you are you, right? You've got rid of all that other crap that was labeled onto you, that you've personas that you've taken on over the years because well you were plopped into all sorts of situations and circumstances and environments that were not natural to you and you had to survive so you figured it out along the way and then as you matured and got better at doing that you start to realize oh wait a second i can still survive and do this and be me so right like that's a little bit what this is so there's um there's a need here i do want to say that the masculine energy the yang knows exactly what he wants. He, she, however that is. Whoever's playing out is the yang. They know exactly what they want here. And it's probably the yin. The yin wants it too. I mean, this is coming up as a want for the page of cups and the knight of cups. All right, let's call it on. Page of cups. Why do you want it to start slow with the page of cups? The Ace of Cups, the Strength card, and the Hierophant. You want it to start slow because you really want something to be successful. You want it to be successful. You want it to, you want, and you also want to feel it out, I'm getting, with the Ace of Cups and the Hierophant on either side of the Strength card. You want to feel it out, too. Hmm. Is it worth investing in this? 
is this person seeing if it's worth investing in? And, you know, like just gently feeling it out. But because you want some higher, well, what you want is also part of your need over here, right? The hair event. Hmm. Okay, the Knight of Cups, so then you want the, the romance. Oh yeah, see, that would be happy. The Nine of Cups with the Knight of Cups. Happy manifestation energy. Oh, but see, that is manifesting. Because the, the Knight of Cups is actually taking action. The Knight of Cups takes action. Actively is romantic. Actively pursues love. Actively um, displays love. So there is action, and that action is part of manifestation. And action does make us happy. When we're not doing enough action in our life, we tend to get in our heads and get into the Nine of Swords, where we're thinking too much. The Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles got the Two of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Three of Cups. Right, because it looks like, okay, I'm looking, I'm comparing yins here. We got yin. We got the Feminine, the Queen of Pentacles, and then we got the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is also depicted as yin or feminine energy. This looks like to me, the Queen of Pentacles is kind of indecis indecisive about things that are not known. And part of this non unknown is this Three of Cups has been coming up this week as um, like a reconciliation energy. Because she is looking, she is looking, this Queen of Pentacles is looking for a deeper connection here in love. Looking for a deeper connection. And to be honest, the Queen of Pentacles can really look after herself. So... This isn't someone who's looking for someone to... The, all she really needs is love. <laughs> like, all I really need is love. Where is Prince Charming? That's a little bit like what that is. Looking at all this lovey energy over here. That's the want. Other things... Uh, other wants are being met. But this want is not being met. It feels like. What is the... What is really the discovery here with this Eight of Cups? I know there's some sort of balance here in trying to manifest, but what is the discovery here? Because this is part of the need. What 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 is really to be discovered going into this eight of cups? The page of cups. That's how you started, which is perfect. It's a point of self-exploration. This is really telling you too. The universe is saying, you know, if you do want some sort of romance in your life, a deeper connection. Like where's Where's my soulmate? Uh, how would that feel? Who would they be? What would we do together? What would we enjoy? Like, I don't know. like just playing that out. But that's a little bit of the Eight of Cups. Like just going out there and then just saying to yourself, you know what? I'm not putting any pressure on this. I'm just going to, I want to start it soft and slow because I want to see if this is solid. Kind of feels like I want to see that this is solid. I want to know. I don't want to dip my toe in and jump full on in and go, wow, this was a big mistake. I want to dip my toe in, kind of see how that goes. And then let's see what happens. <laughs> She's, oh, yeah, see? The devil's at the bottom. That's why, what I was just talking about, <clears throat> you don't want to dip your toe in or, you know, not even dip your toe, just jump into the pond and go, whoa, this isn't good. This is like, this person, like, they're clingy or I'm feeling really dependent like no I need to start slow you don't want anything in the past where it feels like somebody is trapped in something or somebody is codependent or you get involved with someone like wow this person has so many bad habits and I'm like bad. well they pick their teeth at the table like that's not you know, you just those are little things that you learn to to live with right people have person has a lot of good qualities picking their teeth at the table is nitpicking but um, it was probably better than nitpicking. But it's like, oh, wow. 
this person, you know, like they seem really nice, but then when you get them on their own, they just like, they talk bad about everybody or it's just like some sort of negative energy. You don't want, you want to feel it out. Almost like you want to give yourself enough time to find red flags. It's kind of what I'm seeing there. That seems pretty good. You want to give yourself enough time to see any red flags. The nurturing part of you. It's interesting. The Banshee. I think it's just like the Siren. And that's what was coming. That energy was coming out in the Leo reading. Okay. Your incantation. An incantation for my sexy, sexy Virgos who, you know, are doing kind of the right thing here. They're just, I'm going to dip my toe in. I want something I can dip my toe in and not feel like, oh, what did I get into? Oh, look at you. You're pulling out like the big, powerful card here, the Merkaba. Merkaba. I should Google that and make sure I'm saying it right. Merkaba. I really should drop my glasses. I'm going to give you the incantation. Oh, wait, no. First, I'm going to tell you about the macabre, the meaning, and then you get the incantation. So this is meant to empower you. <clears throat> the macabre is an extremely powerful symbol. It is a combination of two star tetrahedrons. Yeah, tetrahedrons. One is pointing up to the heavens, channeling energy down from the universe. Oh, that's what the magician does. And you've got the magician here twice. Down from the universe to the earth plane. And one points downwards, drawing energy up from the earth beneath. The top or upward pointing tetrahedron is male and rotates clockwise. While the bottom or downwards pointing one is female and rotates counterclockwise. This has been a big theme for you guys. Like this... Yin and yang energy, this masculine and feminine. The meaning. It is a divine light vehicle alleg allegedly used by ascended masters to connect with and reach those in tune with the higher realms. Its crystalline energy field is comprised of specific sacred geometrics that align the mind, body, and heart together. This enables us to experience expanded awareness, connects us with elevated potentials of consciousness, and it restores access to and memory of the infinite possibilities of our being. The message of the Merkaba is simple. Your motivations are the foundation for what you want to manifest in life. And if those motivations are based in fear and limitation, that will be all you will get. But if you are motivated by your heart and your true inner power, there are no limits and abundance will be yours. I think that's genius because this is really talking about manifestation with the two magicians that have come out here. And this is talking about manifestation as well. And it's a little bit like learning from the past and trying to correct your future, like trying to move forward in your future and doing it really with, without a lot of expectation with the Page of Cups. Not a lot of expectation. This too, if you're thinking, oh, I stand out a lot of expectation from someone. This could be your higher self telling you what you really want. <laughs> okay, the incantation. Ready? Here we go. Knock down the walls that have kept the fear in. Throw out limitations and let me begin to trust in the power that lives deep in my heart. Now is the time for a brand new start. I'm going to say it one more time. This is a powerful one. Knock down the walls that have kept the fear in. Throw out limitations and let me begin to trust in the power that lives deep in my heart. Now is the time for a brand new start. There you go. So that's that. I'm going to do the, um, the extended now. If you want to see it, the link is in the description below. Um, and I'm going to look at the blind spot and the want and the blind spot and the need. And I'm going to get you further advice going forward. So if I see you there, great. If I don't, that's awesome too. But I do look forward to seeing you here next week. Until next time, be gentle with yourself. Sexy Virgos. Bye.